Hello boys and girls, let's continue with the Toposphere 101. In this video I will roughly outline uh, the notion of power object and then give an idea how false and negation and, and one version of universal quantification arise in uh, Topos based on the uh, two or three videos, three videos that I uh, already did in the last weeks. So again, we had here the first one where I just talk about set theory, then the sub-object classifier in set theory, then the definition of a topos, uh, then a uh, video on uh, heading algebras, which is relevant. Um, and uh, so now we continue with just like giving an idea of uh, some other concepts. Um, I will not be very like formal in this video, um, just motivated, um, but I guess that's enough. Um, so here is the NLAB article on uh, the power object. You know, object, you read object in the sense that we are not dealing with sets, but with generic objects in a category. That's why we don't say power set or power class. This is just a power object and it's uh, uh, defined uh, via this this diagram and I'm not going in, into like super formal detail here but uh, nevertheless you will understand what it's about in a second. So uh, a mini recap we defined uh, the generic sub object classifier which is the error from the terminal object um, into a, some object with a certain property defined by a pullback and then I pointed out how the set theoretical membership relation on a set can be uh, then set up in this framework as well. This here involves an, um, a diagram with where in the bottom left corner here we have uh, x times and then the essentially what amounts to the power set in, in the set theory case. And uh, the power object um, is now the abstract definition of this this power set object, but in a generic case. And it's uh, defined here, you, f you see one of the uh, definitions in the NLAB, and then you see a little bit a more generic like uh, definition that also works that uh, requires a, a few less concepts. Um, but uh, in essence, the idea is to characterize the power object via uh, the adjunction, the, um, the general relation that exponentiation uh, has. Um, so, okay. Okay, so for starters, um, we uh, spoke about um, monomorphisms or equivalence classes of monomorphisms, right? And uh, the characteristic functions and how the characteristic functions or errors in a topos correspond to sub-objects. And uh, let me first point out that the, if you take the, the home functor here, you know, it maps any set, um, it maps any object A to the, uh, the errors from A to the sub-object classifier object, then this is, this always like amounts to the sub-objects. This is already uh, in clear in the set theoretic case where the sub object um, object is just the pair holding zero and one, you know, binary true values. Then two in a cardinal sense, the power of the object corresponds classically to the power set. And so this is isomorphic to this sub objects defined as equivalence classes as uh, of monos in this uh, category of theoretical sense. Um, Okay, so that's that's one thing we are aiming at, like uh, showing that this thing, um, how it can be uh, like uh, defined in the um, in the topos, but not like as a functor, but as like, as existence of an an object abstractly in itself, and this then actually gives rise to an alternative definition of a topos, not via sub-object classifier, but by demanding that this power object exists. So um, we start out by uh, emphasizing that there is this adjunction, right? For If you have uh, the 
let's speak of sets you have the functions from a to this um, function space the function from x to b then this is in bijection with uh, this function space and we spoke in the last video about uh, topos being Cartesian closed so we have this relation right so um, uh, that's one thing the object that we want to get at uh, is of this form then in uh, the classical set theoretic framework, as I already said, this is the this binary um, set with just two values, like uh, 0 and 1 in this case. And this we can also write as the, the power set of the singleton. And so um, also the functions, like now we will cho choose this B, this, this object, or later we will uh, take the sub-object classifier and observe that the functions from this, this um, Cartesian uh, object here into 0 and 1 uh, correspond exactly to the relations that are um, between A and X, right? So for whatever you, relation you can cook up, either like classically, either it holds or it doesn't. So either it's... Uh, you, you say for two elements, either they are related with this relation or they are not related with it. And so the functions from, from, this, um, from this, uh, this Cartesian product into the, the sub-object classifier object, this, this uh, set holding 0 and 1, it exactly um, corresponds to the relations. The relations on, uh, between A and B are the sub-objects of this Cartesian product. Um, and so with this together with, with that insight um, about the adjunction, we get that the functions from A into uh, this object here exactly corresponds to the relation here. And now what the, the, the idea is to characterize the power object uh, corresponding to X exactly in terms of uh, this adjunction that uh, relates the power object to the relations, right? Um, and so here I'm not really going into detail, but essentially this, this works with, with uh, this, this, this diagram. So here is the object, the power object of C that we want to, to get at. We already have this membership and then, I mean, you can read here this definition, but it's, it's essentially about um, indexing subsets and this is this is basically the the, 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 the relation between the power set and relations right um, so this is how it works like uh, you can read the definition here uh, here is an, an even more like um, uh, like a more general diagram characterizing it if you don't have all the, the things available but uh, this is the idea basically you you can abstractly get at um, the power object of any X by characterizing it in terms of uh, how it relates to relations and relations are these sub-objects of Cartesian product. Um, and yeah, okay, this is what, just what I said. And um, then uh, you also get the sub-object classifier object back by uh, looking at the power object that I write here with P and... and uh, lowercase of the terminal object, which we said we wanted to exist in the topos. So, you know, instead of uh, saying a topos is this uh, condition class category with terminal object and then this sub object classifier and so on, and this limits and so on, uh, you can say, uh, I want the condition closed or locally condition closed um, category, whatever it is and uh, power objects, where power objects are the objects which, which fulfill this, this um, more complicated diagram, more complicated than sub-object classifier one, arguably. Um, and then you have the power object and you have the terminal object and then you say, oh, the power, like the power object or uh, like the power of the terminal object, right? The power set of one, so to speak. Um, the power set of the singleton is then the sub-object uh, object. And in this way you get the sub-object classifier back despite having not directly defined the sub-object classifier but actually having just defined the power object. Um, 
okay and here's some some more facts the, I like having now seen these two definitions uh, like very roughly like don't quote me on that but uh, the, the topos is the structure that has nice algebraic properties like it uh, is it, the pullbacks exist and uh, it's Cartesian closed and um, the the thing which makes it like a set is in a way that that uh, you have the ability to say yes right you have you have this this error from the terminal object to this magical subobject object of object which in 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 some very generalized sense points at, at the yes value um, and that can be used to to uh, internalize uh, like the monomorphism concept or the sub sub uh, object concept uh, close to the sub object uh, object uh, object sub object classifier object so you can uh, like look at morphism everywhere in a category and then relate it by this characteristic function somehow to this truth value object um, in in the sense that we saw and uh, the magic is then that you can get a lot of logic uh, happening around this this omega object and then you internalize logics and whatnot um, Okay, so uh, to start out with that, I'm going to talk about uh, falsehood and negation in this video. And in uh, the next video, I will then give a, a more broader into, uh, overview in that same way about other concepts. Um, but what will follow in the rest of this video are like some algebraic manipulations. And we make often we make use of the fact, like in, in, in category theory uh, in general, you know, if you prove the unit lemma, then you make essential uh, like use of the axioms in the sense that you you know oh I know that for every object there is this identity error and and uh, whatever information you add to a category then you can kind of misuse whatever you have or use or misuse and and prove some some of these abstract theorems and this is also what's going to happen here in particular we are make, going to make use of the identity morphisms uh, in combination with the fact that our categories are Cartesian closed. And what makes the topos that we have this terminal object pointing at the subobject classifier or uh, subobject classifier object? You know, the subobject classifier is the error from terminal object to omega. And but I also like tend to think of the object of true failures itself as the subobject classifier. But okay, you know what I mean. Um, okay, so firstly, we're going to. Uh, find faults in the topos and f like we already like uh, I already spoke about um, the, the true in the sense that uh, the error from the terminal morph terminal object to the to omega is the error which points at the true value right and now we we will see in a second that we can also find the, the false and false is also an error from the terminal object to the uh, to omega but a different one than true true is different from false but these exist so how do we find it and here's this here's the sort of construction is a sketch anyhow and uh by the way i i like there are like these um six seven points where we end up then with false and i also to like give you some intuition i also like in brackets explain the set theoretical case right below so yeah okay so uh, given any object uh, X, you know, we have a terminal um, object in the category, so we have this bang which maps X to one, and uh, uh, one can always be with the true value with the subobject classifier error mapped forward to um, to uh, omega. So there's always this error, and set theoretical set theoretically, of course, where omega is the po power set of, of uh, zero, and if you are classical, then this is just the, the set containing zero and one. Then this tx, this you know, first going to the terminal object and then going into the sub object and into the subject classifier into the true value object maps just any any value as a set um, from x to one, right? And so this is like this is essentially say like saying yes to all uh, elements in this set, right? This, we have this this morphism which maps from x to the true values, but it actually never maps to zero. It always maps to one, 
and we can get that by uh, passing through the terminal object. Okay, and you know, in the in a Cartesian closed category, we can we have the one, and then uh, we can uh, find the isomorphism between x and x times one, where times means pullback over one itself, blah blah blah. So this is just a Cartesian closed category algebra, um, and. So here I denote this with the same name, maybe a little bit by abuse of notation. And uh, then uh, given that we, this is a Cartesian close, so we can uh, bring the X over there right, with the adjunction, we, which already was uh, part of the game in this video. And so we have this error that from T to, from this error from one to this exponential object, the power object really. Um, and in, uh, in, in the set, this is uh, just this this uh, error, right? I mean, because uh, obviously this thing always maps to one, as we already said. So this maps the zero in one to the all yes function in the, in the set case. Um, then uh, in in one line, you can also prove that uh, these errors out of the terminal object are monomorphisms, like you just take the definition of the monomorphism, what does it mean, and then you check all the domains must be the same, and that's why it's a mono. And um, then uh, in this way, uh, since it's a monomorphism, it means it's it's a sub-object really, right? So, so, uh, so this arrow here is... Um, now you you can think of the uh, uh, topos theoretical definition of like the category theoretical definition of the topos the definition of the uh, square giving rise to the sub object classifier if we have a monomorphism if we have a sub object then by the power of topos theory we get um, by the definition of the topos we get uh, uh, this characteristic error right so we get an error from the power object into the true value object Again, so keep this in mind. This thing is a mono from one to this power object. And if you now have to scroll up to the definition of the subobject classifier, this situation. Now, x is this power object, and z is this one, and we have this mono here. So we get an error from the power object into the uh, into the true value object. Uh, maybe you, if, if that was too fast, then just draw do the drawings for yourself for these few paragraphs. Um, so we get a characteristic function, we call it uh, for all x, uh, y, because um, this is the, the map that uh, says yes exactly if, if, if the, the arrow here is the, the all yes function that we have just found, right? And at least in the category of sets, you can explicitly check that this is, must be indeed the characteristic function, right? This is, the characteristic function is exactly the thing that says uh, yeah, you have this ob this is the right thing and there are a few um, potentially there are in at least in the category of sets a, a few uh, monomorphisms from terminal object into this this function space um, but the only thing that can make this uh, this sub object classifier diagram commute is this function so this thing has the name for all because it basically uh, says says yes exactly in the case where the function that you pass to it is the all yes function. Uh, and by the way, this all yes function I came up with this name. This is not a standard name. <laughs> um, okay, so given any object, we have the identity. Um, I already like said that we are going to make use of that, and then this can be then in this. The topos we turned into a global element from one to this identity. Uh, this is the error which it maps uh, from the terminal object in a set theoretical case, this the element one, uh, zero to this identity. And so then if we look at the, the for all characteristic error and plug in uh, for X also the true value object, and in this example, I take also true value object to true value object, then we uh, we we can map 
this identity in omega to the omega with the for all omega into omega okay does it make sense like now if you have this uh, three ingredients here you can um, uh, oh, wait, wait a minute so I don't want to confuse you here this F is a generic a generic error let me shortly make sure this is not confusing because I, I use here the, the F as a name for false but here it was just a variable so I don't want to confuse you that's why I renamed this to G here Okay, so here this this was the definition, right? In the set theoretical case, and now what I do is this 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 error f, which goes from one to um, to omega, which we have defined as the like the application of the for all omega on the identity in omega to the omega. Um, in the set theoretical case, this is the, the you know this is um, this is the function which maps from zero in the terminal in the singleton to zero because the identity function that we just passed to for all omega is not the function the the all yes function we, because the all yes function would be the function which on omega always maps to to one but the identity maps one to one and zero to zero so it's not the like we, we, we found basically in okay so let me let me uh, express it like this we, we have managed in the function space from omega to omega to find two functions namely on the one hand the identity function which was already there by the definition of a category and we have managed also to characterize this the, the constant function to one this was all what, what we were doing we, we managed to to um, like in the set theoretical case to abstractly characterize the the function from the two element set to, to the two element set that is constantly just pointing to one of the two elements and so this function is different from one and so we can uh, plug it into this for all uh, omega and we get uh, zero by the definition of this thing because it's we, we, we this this thing distinguishes all functions from the all yes function. Um, okay, so and now what do we have? We have now an error from from uh, one to to the true value object, and the the, the value the sub object classifier was also an error exactly uh, in in this home set. So now we have two different errors from the terminal object to the true value object, namely which we, we call true and false. Okay. <laughs> um, okay so far so good uh, yeah so it, it, uh, topos uh, like we demanded it has terminal object but it also has initial objects namely you can uh, pull back the the, the subject object classifier namely a true along false and these two objects true and false they, they point at uh, the t different values namely one points at one and the other points at zero. And so if you do the pullback, you get an object which then turns out to be the initial object out of which there's always one uh, arrow. It's basically the, the in the case of the of set theory, it's the, the empty set out of which there's only one uh, function with the empty, empty function. And this is like the, the way to which you can find a function which, so that's true and false agree, which cannot agree for any input values, okay. Um, and um, then, so finally, um, we can speak about negation. With false, we can speak about negation because um, there is the uh, the initial um, object which has one error from uh, it to any other object. So there is this map from zero to one. It's, it happens to be then a monomorphism, so it has a characteristic function, um, and so. If you draw yourself the, the diagram, this characteristic function must be an error from the true value object to the true value object, and it happens to be not the identity, but instead it is the what we call a negation function, right? So suddenly we have uh, like this 
functions on truth value and in the in the set theoretical case it's that is the one which switches zero and ones um you should maybe try that out um you just have to follow all through these definitions and and see that um the this in this way um you get exactly this function which uh, like yeah okay um and so given any x again right and any characteristic function on it you know set being a subject of x that was the notation we had in the videos uh, up to now then uh, we can actually map with the characteristic function into the true value object and then we can concatenate as if we want uh, with this error with this negation right and then we get another characteristic function and now we have this 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 means to we, we, like we, we we pull a lot of like uh, equipment out of this simple topos definition as you see and i want to mention uh, which kind of also relates more to the um you know hitting algebra stuff uh that since we have uh, the zero object we can also look at the the, the arrows into into zero and uh, this thing is also sometimes called negation so you can look at for example um this functor and you apply it twice and then you get uh, naturals into this and this is kind of the, the fact that you can map an object into the double negation and uh, so on and so on and so forth um, so uh, don't be confused this is an error from true value object to true value object and this thing is a functor uh, mapping to the sub objects into the initial object um, and this is also sometimes denoted by the same uh, character. Okay, so uh, under half an hour, I'm proud of me. So let's leave it at that. Take care. Uh, maybe, well, I take that back. Uh, spoiler, so uh, I'm, I'm more or less done. I will give another, like, r uh, some sketchy um, statements about internal logic. And then even talk about modalities, so that's a little bit even outside of the scope of, of standard topos theory. And then I have some uh, some examples in mind that I can also go through. Maybe either this is one or two videos to follow. Yeah, probably two. So stay on your feet. Take care.